because we are about to bleach and we're going to use the bucket method because that's cool and I'm doing an all over job so it's gonna be easy okay so this is the stuff that you're gonna need for this if you want to create this so wig. you're gonna need your hair of course and I'm using a 24 inch wig from IC I will let you guys see what the wig looks like in a second you are going to need a bucket of quick blue two 32 fluid ounce bottles of 40 volume developer or 30 volume developer. My Sally's only have 40, so we're gonna use 40. And these are the hair colors that I'm going to use. You can use the same Adore or or Kiss, but I have one of each, so it doesn't really matter. So this is Ginger. Hey, Ginger girl. And this is what is this called? Electric yellow. And then I also have Ginger in the Kiss color. But I have this um, cosmic yellow that I might add into the mix because I don't know. We'll see. This is a this is this is iffy, all right. But to wash and deep condition the wig, I am going to go ahead and use silicone mix. Hey girl, and we're gonna have some Ozzy Moist. It's the bottle dark, so you can't see it. There we go, Ozzy Moist. And then we're gonna when we bleach the knot, we're gonna use vanilla no yellow. All right, let's start the bleaching process. Okay, you guys, so this is the packaging and this is what the wig came came to me looking like. It's, it's just your typical packaging. It's a straight wig, it gave me a bonnet. You know what, I'm loving these companies with these bonnets because they come in handy. Eyelashes, a pamphlet, a wig cap, you know, the, the normal goodies that comes with it, all right? so. Let's look at the wig. It's your basic stock unit. It's not a full frontal, and a full frontal means a full 13 by four. This is a 13 by four, but it's tapered off on the sides where your sideburns and your temple is. So this is the construction of the cap. So we're gonna start off by bleaching, okay? So I'm gonna take my 40 volume clear developer and I'm gonna pour that entire bottle into this bucket, all right? And then after I have the developer in there, I'm gonna take my bag of bleach, my bucket of bleach, and I'm gonna pour half of the contents into this bucket, okay? Or about seven to eight scoops, either way. You can measure it either way, all right? And then so you wanna mix everything together and make sure all the clumps and everything is out before you submerge your wig. Now, I do not want you guys to confuse this method with the wa uh, uh, water bleach method because this is clear developer we're not adding water to this whatsoever so you're going to get the full um the full strength of that 40 volume developer and bleach when you're doing it this method versus you adding water and doing a bleach bath um to your mixture and it's going to be diluted and you're not going to get the same lift that you would get with it just being clear developer okay so i like using clear developer with this because it you know it, it's 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 a liquid so it goes through the hair easier versus using like the creams and then it's pure developer so it'll lift to its full potential and everything like that so i like doing it this method i don't like ble bleach baths the only time i will do a bleach bath is if i'm removing some colors but even then i will use color oops to do this so basically all i'm doing is massaging the bleach into this entire wig i want everything to be super saturated i want the entire wig covered in bleach and no you don't have to worry about the knots you just have to make sure that you are monitoring your um your wig because you do not want it to overheat so once it's saturated this is what it looks like it's just creamy and nice and so I'm gonna sit it on my counter and put a trash bag over it and let it sit for about 20 minutes so 
you want to make sure you watch your wig because it's going to inflate and you are going to have hot spots all right so while it's doing that i'm going to uh lift the wig out deflate it because it is like a little balloon at this point and i want to like disperse that heat i don't want the heat in one area only because you'll have breakage you'll have um over processing if you do that so um i'm just making sure that everything is still saturated the heat um is dispersed and i let that sit for about uh, another 10 minutes and then I'll rinse it out. I'll make sure that it's completely rinsed out at this point I don't wash the wig. I just make sure that all the bleach is rinsed out I'm not gonna wash it. I'm not gonna condition it. I'm not gonna uh, use purple shampoo I'm just going to let it dry. I think I put it under the dryer. You can let it air dry or put it under the dryer um, so you can do your round two now I dry it because of the fact if it's wet It's not going to lift to its full potential So I like to make sure it's dry before I go to the second round of bleach and you're going to do the exact same thing You're going to put the pour your bleach in pour your developer in um, Mix everything up submerge your wig and let it sit for about 15 20 minutes and then we can go ahead and watercolor So I um, rinsed everything out, make sure that there was no bleach left, and I was ready for the watercolor. Mind you, I did use shampoo on a second bleaching. I did not condition it as of yet, and I just made sure that all the bleach was out. So now I'm going to uh, fill my bucket back up, uh, maybe a halfway with hot tap water and then i'm going to apply all the bottles of colors that i showed you guys in the beginning of this video and and i did add the cosmic yellow to this so that's the cosmic yellow and i add both of the gingers and the yellow that from kiss into this and i mixed it all together and i submerged my wig and i did let my wig sit in this mixture for about 10 minutes because i wanted it to be fully saturated and i wanted all the color to be on this wig so when I'm putting a wig in, I like to dip it in and out, in and out, in and out, to just to make sure that the middle of the wig is getting coated, and then I'll just let it sit and process. After that, I'll rinse the wig out until it runs somewhat clear, and then I'll deep condition it with silicone mix. So here you see it styled. It is very vibrant. Oh my goodness, it's a beautiful color. So let's go in to install. Hey Alonzo, okay, so um, I'm trying the Bold Hope Burst, and this is the packaging that it came in for me. It's so cute. This glue smells amazing. So this is the new line for Bold Hope, and basically, uh, it's supposed to be like antibacteria to where it's going to help protect your skin and your hairline And it's just the the lemon in it is just it just smells so strong and like I'm still wearing this wig And I can still smell it and it's not like one of those overpowering smells. It just smells It just smells like a nice lemon drop and if you like lemons you will enjoy this Okay, so I cleaned my hairline out when I off with 91% alcohol to make sure that the makeup was off and then I'm gonna take the skin protectant and I'm gonna dab that on my hairline just to make sure that um, I don't have any breakouts and if I do my skin is protected from that okay because like I said this is a new product um, I am very used to using boho products but this one has a scent to it so I just wanted to make sure that I used it and you know the owner recommends you use it with her product so um i am just gonna go ahead and use my little uh my little brush that i've been using in all my little tutorials because i just like applying my glue this way it, just, it's, it comes out neat and thin like it's a really thin layer and i could control how thick i want this glue to be on so i'm gonna apply it across my entire hairline and i'm gonna do this three times but i'm only gonna show you guys do me doing this once because it takes too long for me to uh 
uh, show you guys that, all right? And after this is applied, I'm gonna go ahead with also bold hole liquid gold and I'm gonna put that behind my hairline on my stocking cap. And that's just gonna help my, uh, my wig not to move whatsoever. So this, I, I like to do that because like, you know, when you lay down and sometimes you'll wake up and your wig is just, it, it'll just be sliding back. And I just do not like that because once it starts sliding back, it's, it starts looking like gucky and grayish and sticky. And like, I'm just not here for that. So I like to do that because it, it, it kind of like seals your frontal down from budging at all. And <clears throat> you could easily get a two week or three week hold if you're doing it this method. So once all the glue is applied and my bow hold burst is clear, I'm gonna just go ahead and apply my lace down. So I'm gonna pull the lace up in front of the glue just to make sure that everything is covered. Um, do not push your lace in until you are absolutely sure that you are confident in your placement, okay? So once you're confident in your placement, go ahead and push the uh, glue down. And once the glue and the lace is together, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut off the excessive lace. So now let's work on the hairline and make sure that it's melty. I'm going to curl my baby hairs backwards. I like to do them backwards now instead of doing them under. It just lays different. I don't know how to explain that, but it just lays totally different. And I'm gonna use spritz to hold the baby hairs down. I don't like to use mousse. And I'm gonna do the same things for my sideburns. And to help my hair blend in a little bit better, I'm going to use a little bit of makeup on my lace, like a light makeup, not nothing too heavy, and just help blend it into my skin. And after that, I'm gonna just go ahead and take the wax stick and spritz and just, you know, uh, smooth out my hairline and just make sure everything is laying where I want it to lay. And basically, that's the end of this video, you guys. Um, I definitely, have had my wig on for about four days. So um, the burst smells totally good. It acts and operates just like normal bolt holes. So if you are a, a bolt hold a person that likes the products, you're definitely gonna like this if you have not ordered it already. Um, and the hair took coloring good. It took bleaching amazing, as you can see. Um, I do, because it is bleach, you are gonna have some a light somewhat light shedding okay and you want to make sure that your wig is highly hydrated and conditioned because you did process it you did take the moisture out of the hair so you need to make sure that you use your silicone mix when you have bleach or color treated or curly hair because of the fact that you know if it's dry you will 
experience a lot more shedding than you would if you made sure that your wig was hydrated okay so i'm gonna just add my elastic band on there and that's the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed this i will have everything that i use down below in the description box for you guys just make sure you go down there and check it if you have any questions leave them in the comment section and i will go down there and answer them and until next time bye best friends